All morning, they've marched into the city. They're saying protect the country and serve the people. The city of Urumqi is now under martial law. These reinforcements are needed. Despite a strong military presence starting Sunday, it hasn't been enough to prevent more ethnic conflict. But residents can now hope order will be restored soon. With mob mentality taking over both the Han Chinese and the Uyghurs, these soldiers must now create lines of defense to protect both sides, setting up buffer zones in areas throughout the city to prevent the groups from clashing. In the Uyghur neighborhood near the old bazaar, the usual bustle is gone. Most shops closed, just a few signs of everyday activity out on the streets. Everything calm now, but they tell us hundreds of Han Chinese swept into the area the night before, Tuesday night, killing at least six people. This man tells us you have two forces now, on one side, the Han Chinese, and then the Uyghurs. Minutes later, a security breach. Han Chinese with their sticks have arrived. This place suddenly doesn't feel very safe. We're seeing Han Chinese on that side. Now you see there are soldiers, but they're not keeping all of them back. We just saw a few Han Chinese men cross into the Uyghur neighborhood side, and some Uyghur women were screaming in fright. Here we're seeing fewer sticks and more guns. But in addition to their show of force, the military is asking civilians to drop their makeshift weapons and restore peace to the city. But there are no guarantees, no indication that things will get back to normal anytime soon. Melissa Chen, Al Jazeera, Urumqi, Western China.